There is no shortage of convertible tablets and Surface wannabes these days. I'm Oliver from WinBeta, and in this video I'm going to unbox the Hi12 convertible tablet provided to us by Chewy. The device is a budget convertible tablet that features a 2160x1440 12-inch touchscreen display, the same size and resolution as the Surface Pro 3. Interestingly, Chewy refers to the Hi12's display as a... <laughs> wait, 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 let me get this right. Original IPS Retina display, which is brilliant. I couldn't be more ironic even if I tried. However you feel about these fledgling Chinese computer manufacturers, as indicated with the Onda Surface Book knockoff we reported a few days ago, originality isn't exactly their greatest strength. Ill-conceived naming aside, the display quality is very good. It lights up well, has good, if not spectacular, color accuracy, and has no discernible backlight bleeding or other anomalies that might plague a budget device. The device is powered by an Intel Atom Cherry Trail X5Z8300 processor, with not two, but four whole gigabytes of RAM and a generous helping of ports, including two full-sized USB ports. It may not be entirely noticeable in the video, but the device actually came with the screen dislodged. Thankfully, popping it back in was simple, and I seriously doubt this is a common occurrence with most high 12 units. But it's something that I've never experienced before and found quite unnerving. It's like a baby born with a missing face. The tablet uses a micro USB port for charging, like most other tablets including Microsoft's own Surface 3. It's rather inconspicuously blended in with all the other ports on the side. This is kind of annoying as I often found myself mistaking the micro HDMI port for the charging port. The Hi12, a solid bang for your buck tablet, can also be attached with an optional keyboard. And once you do attach the keyboard, the tablet transitions from a competent tablet to a mediocre laptop. The attachment features a full-size keyboard accompanied by an absolute garbage trackpad. It also has two full-size USB ports on both corners of the keyboard, which would be fantastic if adding the keyboard didn't add so much weight to the device. This is the crux of why I think the hybrid form of the Hi12 is worse than the tablet form, because while it more or less gets the job done, it also makes the device significantly less portable. The combined device is really thick and heavy, to the point where you don't feel like you can just toss it in a bag anymore. Furthermore, the range at which you can adjust the tablet's angle is perhaps just a tad shy of ideal. In many situations, I found the maximum angle unsatisfactory. Nevertheless, I will say that the actual keyboard itself is excellent. Key travel is deep with a very satisfying clicking sound with each key press while not being obnoxiously loud. It also spans the breadth of its 12-inch companion nicely. The keys are well spaced, not too spread out, nor too cramped. I would say that it's as good as the Surface Pro 4's keyboard. And while the angle range is a bit shallow, as a laptop the device felt very stable, if a bit top-heavy, which is to be expected with these kind of devices. Look forward to our more comprehensive review coming soon. See you guys next time.